What if I were to tell you that there was a physical damage class with high endurance that relies on damage over time and ranged multi-target attacks? Yeah, let's let's get into this video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's not my first time making a video on this class. Last time I bought it, the, I think the day or maybe a day after it came out for the original game, I guess, that no one plays. Adventure AQ Dragons, Adventure Quest Dragons, you know? So that game came out, this class came out with the game. You can no longer buy it with the game anymore, it's not in-game. You have to go to the membership upgrade package page now and buy it right here for $10. So you don't get any of the in-game items in the Cookie Clicker AQ Dragons game that's on Android iOS if you want to look for it. Search AQ Dragons, you'll find it. Uh, it's just a cookie clicker game. There's really nothing special about it. It's got dragon art I think it they use the same art they used AQ dragons on the calendar for that year Which was I think 2015 if I remember correctly. I'm not sure but yeah You can buy the package right here if you want the class that I'm showing you in this video It's right on the package page where you buy a season membership and stuff like that Okay in the intro I may have not explained the class correctly. It has no range on its multi-target attacks. It has multi-target attacks, oh, mind you, but range? No, 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 no. It's a physical class, so you don't get any range. Uh, here's a skill that's supposed to do a ranged attack, so... Okay, yeah, we hit the guy that we're right next to. Uh, let's move out of the room, go back in. The cooldowns are insanely long on most of the skills for what they do. Like, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks, cooldown. So if we hit that, I'm hitting it right now. Nope. Nope, this is a dot, a multi-target dot class. So it's multi-target, you can hit two targets at once, uh, but it's physical, so you're not gonna hit more than one at once unless you group them together manually, which is really annoying when you're farming anything. So it's not for farming, this class is, we're cutting it for farming right here. Uh, so the only logical thing to use it for, if you're not using it for farming, would be boss farming. If you're not using it for multi-target farming, would be boss farming or pvp and we will test it on pvp later in the video okay so i did further testing on the two skill and sometimes you'll hit three targets but it's very picky and if they're a little out of range you're not gonna hit three targets on this uh two skill so yeah feels bad man let me quickly go over all the skills this one stacks i think it stacks up to five from testing it i really it doesn't stack up to a point where you're going to be doing insane damage so don't expect that this one of course uh 25% chance of stun as a dot, you know, not, not really. It's affected by the stacks, so that factors in a little bit, but not not a lot. I, I tried to stack it up and do good damage with that. On the design notes, it says it does 400% damage, 400% uh, dot on here, so for 10 seconds. I haven't seen any insane dots with this class. It's no uh, Shadow Stalker of Time. Or anything like that so you're not gonna be hitting 100k dots or anything like that or even not even a thousand dot I don't even think I was able to hit it over 500 dot with this class for some reason maybe I'm using it 100% wrong but whenever I try to use that I'll show you right here no dot okay thanks yeah just no damage over time now these are level 10 so I should be doing insane amounts of damage because they have no resistance to damage unless they're super high resistance level 10s 282 yeah so insane dots boys has 400 percent of zero point something damage so that's yeah an insane amount of damage 400 percent ooh yeah if you can do a million percent damage on zero damage it's still zero damage so it looks like yeah it's pretty bad skill right there boys now your four skill will give you more armor if you have stacks or just uh, apply some strength 25% so it's just a buff skill not really that interesting let's be honest it's just that's just a buff skill and uh, this one will just do an eight second dot so yeah that's every every skill does dot damage except for your third one and none of them do it well that's that's the takeaway from this video nothing this class does nothing well so i've showed you some sneebles some level 10 sneebles you know these are the pinnacle of what you'll be fighting with this class because anything else is way too hard for it let's move on to something a little harder oh boy 
All right, I'm on chaos in already. Um, okay, uh, I think this will lead to instant death. Let's, you know, high endurance class. Let's try it. Let's see how much endurance this class actually has. You know, I'll give it my all. Now, you do burn mana. All the skills on this class use a lot of mana. Uh, so, be wise with your choices of skills. I'm not going to tell you what skills to use or when to use them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think oh, I saw a little a little bit of the bar go missing there. You know, it's just, just a wee bit. So, you're not going to be soloing with this class. It has no self-heal. It's pretty evident that you wouldn't be soloing with this class. So, let's completely move on from that. Alright, what about some good old-fashioned PvP? Now, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Depends on the class we're going up against, really. No Stalker of Time. Oh, that's the dot class I actually, actually kind of like. New skill there. See, our cooldowns are pretty high on everything. So, like, any skill that does damage, it's got a, it's got a cooldown on it. Now, if we had our stun there, we were actually doing okay. I think we got him down to half health, although he might have been half health from a previous battle. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention at the beginning of the fight right there. Uh, so we did we did do okay in that fight. You know, we, we didn't get utterly destroyed, and that's probably because of the very high endurance class has. Would I use this class for a PvP if I wanted to win every match? Hell no. But it could be a fun PvP class. I'll, I'll give it that. It, you could have some fun stunning and then hitting some dots on people. Even though the dots barely do any damage. Now, as far as enhancements go for this class, some people were recommending luck. Uh, luck will get completely nuked on the testing server, so you can use luck on the live server, but once the live server is gone, luck will be no longer useful at all. So I use the full fighter, uh, which the game recommends. Now, I did a recording of this video where I didn't recommend this class at all. Like, no one should buy it. But I think if you have $10 laying around, you want to spend it on the game anyway. You don't get any ACs or any membership or anything in game when you spend this ten dollars. So that's kind of a downer. They should have probably included like five hundred ACs or something with the package because I think the class and the uh, set itself isn't worth ten dollars in my opinion. I think it. I think it might be worth five dollars, but ten. I don't think it's worth it. But if you have the extra money and you want to spend it on something that is purely for fun, it's not going to serve any purpose. You're not going to be farming mobs with it you're not gonna be farming bosses with it you're not gonna be winning a lot of pvp with it if you want something just to mess around with and ten dollars you can spend it on this i mean there's probably better ways to spend ten dollars but i'm not your mom and uh, that's the video so yeah i really didn't like this class when it first came out i tried it today didn't like it again so that yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the class guys hopefully you enjoyed this video Tell me what you think of the class in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, tell me how you like this video. Anything you would change if I did a future class video similar to this. This was not a class guide in any way. I was more of just showing you what the class was all about. And telling you what it's for. That sort of thing. I'm not trying to tell you how to use it or anything like that. You can use the skills however you feel like you could want to use the skills. Or take advice from someone that has 100 hours using the class. I do not. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. It's a multi-target dot class. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've been able to do this. This class isn't new. I made a video on it in 2014. Here's the video. I thought I'd include this at the end just for a little bit of nostalgia. The music is very sour, please. I don't even know where I got the music from. Probably NCS or something like that. But uh, yeah, you can go search for this video if you want to go leave a comment on it or something. It has like five comments on it. 4,000 views, though. And I looked at it, it was second on the AQW search ranking right now, so you two must be recommending it because people are probably searching for this class because the design notes post was just made about it. That's why I made this video. So here is a throwback video. Enjoy. It's a lot different than my current videos recorded in 2014.